What's up, everybody? Tonight, y'all, it's gonna be absolutely fire. And welcome to our Thursday night conference. Like, like tag somebody right now. Like you need to mention somebody and tell them you don't wanna miss this heart rehab conference. It is gonna be amazing. As you can see, I have all of my wedding gear on. And I'm gonna do to the best of my ability. I'm gonna try to the best of my capability. To represent. To try to represent, not every man, but just a lot of men. The women. In the earth that need heart. Heart. Rehab. Heart rehab. Let's get to the conference. I stand before you representing a generation of men who need heart rehab. I stand before you representing a generation of women who need heart rehab. So here we are, here today, about to declare our love to the world. But if I were to be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know if, like, what is a man? My dad was never really there. He never really showed me what manhood looks like. Culture told me that a man is one who throws this well. You know, how to fight and, and how many women I sleep with. And you're going to expect me over the next few Years, matter of fact, for the lifetime, if we're going to do this forever, you're going to expect me to love you and to, to, to protect you and to, to honor you. And I don't know if I could do it because I really don't know what manhood looks like. I really don't. I really don't know what you expect of me. I really don't even know if I'm ready for marriage. I don't know if I'm ready for covenant. I don't know if I have detoxed from all the porn I've watched. I don't know if I'm, if I'm cleansed from all my sexual experiences before you and... If I be honest, sometimes I might compare you to my past. I might compare you to my past, and sometimes I have boy-like tendencies, and here we are. Are you, are you sure you want to marry me? Because I'm not even sure who I am right now. This is why every single time, remember the other night we went out to see a movie? This is why every single time you ask me questions, I keep on saying, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What's wrong? I don't know. Do you want this? I don't know. Do you want to go here? I don't know. I don't know. This is not just answering your question. This is a state of my reality. I'm a walking question mark. I don't know who I am, but we're here at the altar, right? We're here. Well, I stand before you as a woman that's Miss Independent. Hmm. I'm a woman that's always took care of my own, my own business. I've always paid my own way. I bought my own house. I started my career. I did it, everything on my own. I never had a dad, so I hope you're ready to deal with daddy issues. I hope you're ready to deal with my control issues. Hmm. I hope you're ready to deal with my selfishness. I hope you're ready to deal with my, my insecurity. Because I don't know what submission is. I sure hope you don't expect me to do that. Well, I do expect you to do that. I've never done that before. Well, I don't know what that looks like. It looks like I've never seen submission before. It looks like when I tell you to do something, you do it. That sounds like control. That's not control. Like That's I already said, I already have control issues. So it's going to be a problem if you try to control me. See. <laughs> and listen, I'm just going to tell you now. I'm marrying you. I love you, but I just don't want to be lonely. I deal with loneliness. I deal with abandonment issues. I don't want to be left by myself. So hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. So you're going to have an issue listening to me. Yes. Because I'm not really going to want a lot of like clap back. You know what I'm saying? Because like I got enough of that for my mama. Well, I'm listen. Like, li no, no, listen, listen. I got enough of that for my mama. My mom always telling me you need to do this. You need to be home at this time. I never really saw a man model submission I, I never saw that submission is it is it is modeled not demanded i never saw that i never saw daddy you know in the room and helping mom around the house and helping her vacuum and help her do dishes i hope you understand that we got some gender roles well listen all i saw was men trying to control their wives all i saw were, were men that were abusive to their I'm wives i'm not them okay but i view you out of all the men so you're not going to be controlling me that's not going to happen Okay, I saw that all my life. I saw that all my life. From my uncles, from my grandfather, from all the other, other men that came before you. So listen, 
If you're going to be married to me, you're going to understand that you're not going to control me. And if I want to make a decision, I don't have to consult you all the time. I make my own money and I've made decisions all my life far before I met you. So I'm not going to start allowing you to make decisions for me now. It's yeah. just not going to happen. And, and, and you see, you see, this, this is how my mother didn't really mother me. She smothered me. She always was That's telling me what to fault, do. That's not my fault, But you're going to deal with it. You're going to deal with it. If you're in covenant with me, you're going to deal with all of my rejection. You're going to deal with all of my insecurities. You're going to deal with all of my doubts and all my failures. You cannot get me and not get everything I come with. I'm attached to a lot. Well, guess what? No, you guess what? You're I'm going to get everything I get to. You got to understand this. You got to understand. I'm attached to storms. So you're going to get rained on with depression because I struggle with it. You're going to get rained on with weary because I get weary sometimes. You're going to get rained on with worry because I'm dealing with all of this. But here we are, right? Well, listen, you're going to deal with my overly emotionalism. How about that? Mm. You're going to deal with me being super sensitive all the time about everything. You're going you're gonna to deal with my overthinking. You're going to deal with it all. You're going to deal with my low self-esteem issues. You're going to deal with my rejection issues. You're going to deal with all of it. And you know what? You're just going to have to take it. Well, you're not the only one that's been rejected. I've been, see, this is why like a few days ago, I felt some type of way that I wasn't invited to the Super Bowl party. You know why? Because they're, they're, they're like invitation gave me significance. And so when I don't get invitations, when I don't have people invite me, I feel some type of way. Because if I be real with you, people's endorsement of me is more important than heaven's approval of me. So and wait so, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not your mother. OK, so I hope that you are not expecting me to be your mother. I sure hope that's not going to happen. Well, mama knew how to cook. Mama knew how to clean. Mama took care of all the stuff I needed. I okay. need you to be able to know how to cook. Well, I need guess you to, know what? How to be able to clean. You can learn how to cook. You can learn how to clean. That's your job. What are you talking Excuse about? Excuse me? That's your, I, I want hot meals when I come home. Wow. That's, I would think that's the Are least that you could do. Are we living in the 1930s? 1930s? Are you serious? 1930s? Are you serious Listen, right now? We live in 2021, okay? So I you can't need have to a be home doing meal. everything that I can do, hmm. okay? If I have to work every day, you have to work every day. If I have to do laundry, you need to do laundry. I'm cool if with I that. have to cook, look, you need to cook. Look, man, as long as you take care of the kids, I mean. We both need to take care of the kids. They man, are I, our I, I, children. I'm not trying to babysit all day. Babysit? I'm, I'm not trying to babysit and watch them all day. I got Fathering? things to do. Fathering? Parenting? I got things to do. Like what? Like watch the game. Me and the boys get together. We play some poker. It's a pandemic. You know what? I need what? a break. I need, listen, you I need. You sound like a child. I need mental. Okay, you talking about I sound like a child. You sound so we like name a child. Calling. We that's name calling. You, that's what you look we, like right now. You know now. what? You that's sound what you're like, sounding like. Let me tell you what you sound expecting like. For, you're expecting for me to be your mother. That's you really what you're expecting. Like, you sound like a lonely, depressed woman. Really? That is only using me to get people to give you likes. That's what you sound like. First you of all, sound like a person that I've been trying to show you. Like, you've seen tons of flags. You've seen tons of them. But you know why you keep overlooking them? Because you want the likes and you want to say, I'm finally off the market. And you, you want to look like you have, you have all of this value. Listen, you, know you don't know what it's like to be me. You don't know what it's like to be a woman like me. To be damaged, to feel like you're damaged goods, and nobody wants you. You think you're the only one damaged? You don't know what it feels like to be this age and want children and see all your friends married and all your friends have children and you are the last one left. So that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. I, I fulfill the, the wife to be dream. Right. That's why I'm here. You don't know what it's like. So, so you don't know what it's like to I feel do, like nobody wants you. I do know what it's like. I do know what it's like. That's why I hang with all my boys. Because I try to find some sense of validation and affirmation in them. This is why I slept with all the women I slept with. I ain't like it. I really didn't like it. But I had to act like to my boys. Like, yeah, 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 I did this. I, yeah, I, I did that too. But I really didn't like that. But I was struggling with, with, with my identity. I was struggling with, with who I am. That's Guess what men what? do. It's going to be two of us because I struggle with my identity too. Well, let me tell I you something. I struggle with loving myself. Well, so I so I so I chase ambition. I chase my career. I've chased all these things in life to make up for the fact that I'm not happy with me. So I hope that you are ready to deal with that. So so look, if you chase ambition and you don't really have any identity, 
I'm going to be the one. You get my last name. I hope you don't think on, I hope you don't think you're keeping your last name, right? You take on my identity, you take on my you take on my image, you will be my wife. So I can cover that area. But what I can't cover, I can't cover this this know-it-all, lippy, petty type of woman that that really doesn't even know how to honor a man. Like, what is honor for you? You know first how to honor all, me? First of all, you're talking about leading. I'm supposed to be your helper, right? Yeah. And I can't help in areas where you expect me to be your mother and not your wife. I can't help fix what your mother did or did not do. And I can't help fix what your dad did or did not do. Okay, well, that's guess something what? That you we're in the same, pos well, we're that, in the same position. That's something that you should have dealt with before we ever got here. Before we ever got well, here. you should have too. Well, this is why I'm confronted right now. Because cause, cause you're trying to, you're trying to call, call out all my stuff and all of my issues. What about your dad? I'm issues? calling you out or you're calling me out? Because it sounds like right now you're pointing the finger at me and talking about all my issues. It doesn't, it doesn't look like right now you're taking a good look in the mirror and dealing with your stuff. Have you ever thought about the fact that I'm here? Is you taking a good look in the mirror and I'm a representation of the damaged self that you are? M maybe, maybe how you pick reveals how wounded you are. Because, maybe it's the same for you too. Well, here's the thing with me. Here's the thing with me. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I'm not expecting people to like all my images on social media. You're the one that's doing that. You got all glossed up, all all dolled up for other people. I don't need all that. I don't. I don't need all the. You know, my biological clock is ticking. I don't need all of that. So why are you here? I'm here because I want to have kids. I want to have a wife who can clean up. I want to have somebody who cleans up. I want to have somebody who has my back. You know, I want you to be my ride or die. So you you want a maid? I don't want a maid. I, I, I want I want you to be my babe. That's what I want. I I'm don't not a babe. Okay, you know what I mean. Like you're my baby. You see what I'm saying? I want you to be my baby. But then at the same time, if we're gonna have a if we're gonna have a home, I just had the belief system that you know my home should be my castle. So you want a servant? Well, don't you serve me and I serve you? No, you want a servant, not I serve you and you serve me. You, you want to just be able to tell me to do what you want me to do. But listen, right? but you should you should get joy out of doing that. You should get joy out of serving me. So you, you should get joy. Are you not gonna get joy I'm from cool. loving I'm me and leading me and being my protector yeah, and being my provider and being my leader? I don't feel respect. You know what? You need to give respect to get respect. Oh, that's how it is. So I haven't, I haven't. You're supposed given, to lead, right? I haven't lead given, and respect. I haven't given you respect by paying for this dress you have on. I haven't given you respect. That's your idea. I haven't of given you respect by paying for you to get through school. I haven't. That was more than your daddy did. I paid for you to go through school. I paid for this whole outfit. I paid for the whole venue. This whole venue that we're at right now came out of my pocket. So I'm already showing you I'm a provider. I'm already showing you I can take care of you. And what have you shown me? You sitting here telling me that you're not going to be, I'm not going to cook. You want a maid? I didn't say that I wasn't going to cook. I'm, gonna, I'm saying that I'm not going to be your servant, that I'm not your mother. And you can't expect me to do everything. You don't do anything for me. So what you I'm not do? about to be one of those women that work all day, do, does all this stuff, takes care of the kids, and then you don't do nothing for me in return, and then you walk out on me. You here, ain't you? You here. <laughs> you here. This is what you want, right? Right? I'm not going to have... But uh, can we get another photo, please? Oh, yeah. You know what? You sound real, real arrogant. And let's just take all this stuff back. We literally can take all this stuff back. If that's how you're going to act towards me, I don't need all this stuff from you. That's really what you want to do? This is your dream, though. I mean, how at much the cost this of this, at the cost of you acting paid, like this and treating me like this. I paid thirty-four hundred dollars for this dress. Wow, thirty-four hundred dollars! Congratulations! It was on discount. Well, you know what? That's what we do. That's what we do. We come together and we have these fake smiles. We have fake orgasms. We have all of this fake stuff. Wow. So that we can present it to the world as though we're happy, right? This is this is what you wanted. I thought you. Were gonna I don't be, want this. I thought you were gonna be my ride or die. What is what is that? Why? Where are we riding to? Where are we going? I don't know, because it sounds like you're pretty messed up to me. It sounds like you're pretty confused. It sounds like you're pretty, it sounds like, you sound like a child, well, you honestly. Know what? So I don't know where we're riding to, and I really don't understand why I have to die. <laughs> well, you know what? I find it so crazy that I sound like a child, but you chose me.
I find it so crazy. No. Oh, hold up, hold up, no. hold up, hold up, hold up. No. You respond to my text messages. You gave me a key to your place. I don't I don't know why. I don't know why now. Now it's you know, you sound like a child. Were you the one attracted to me? You were the one that hit me back. Remember, I called you four times. I called you four times, you never responded, and then like two months later, you reached out to me. You reached out to me. So I think it speaks volumes more to the fact that you may have some selection issues if I'm a child, but you attracted to me and we here. We here. Look, look. You're supposed to wait be a, minute, a wait leader. On. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bask in this moment. We here. We here. You got your beautiful flowers. You got your beautiful dress. I got my tux on. We're here. And this is what you told me you wanted. This is what you told me. Every single time, you remember when I would take you back to your apartment? Every single time we had sex, you'd always, when are we going to get married? When are we going to get married? You know, you know, you know, I, I, I want the people, don't, I don't, I don't want to always look like, like I'm just this girl that has boyfriend at the boyfriend. We're going to get married. When are we going to get married? So I dropped down on my knee. I put a ring on your finger. I think you should be cured. I think you should be cured from, from, from the disease of feeling as though nobody wants you. But here you are now, fully dressed in your wedding dress, $3,400 wedding dress. $10,000 venue. We got to feed all your family. We got to feed your mama. We got to feed your aunts. We got to feed your whole family. Your whole family. You remember how much those, Im those invitations were? So listen, that's why I said take it back. Because listen, it sounds like you just, you know, I can't be bought. Okay? If we take it back, what about your loneliness though? What about all the posts that well, you I, You know what? I don't deserve no, this. No, no, don't, don't I don't front. deserve this. Don't, don't front because every single time we out, you always want to take a selfie. I hate taking pictures. You know that I cannot stand taking pictures, but you always, every minute, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, I don't like taking pictures. So you're going, well, hey, I hold like, on, hold on, hold on. You got to think about this too. You in all this? You take all of this back? Facebook going to haunt you with all them, share your memories. You know it, because it's going to be images of me. You know how many times you tagged me and I told you not to post that picture? I told you not to post that picture. I don't really think that you want to go through with taking all this dress back and telling everybody else that, you know what, I messed up and I chose the wrong one. Well, I don't Sometimes, want to live a lifetime with somebody that doesn't appreciate me so and what? doesn't value me and doesn't really love me and feels like when they throw all this money at me that they can just hold it over my head. Are you willing to embrace the embarrassment? of letting go of a wrong pick? Are, are you really ready to embrace the embarrassment that you got all the way to the altar only to discover that I'm not God's will for your life? Are you, are you really, really ready to have everybody ask you for Valentine's Day and everybody ask you on, on spring break and everybody ask you for Christmas? Whatever happened to you and Jerry? I thought y'all y'all look so cute together. You remember what you, your mom already said she loved me? You're going to have to be willing to end that all. And I don't think, I don't think you trust in God's plan enough. I don't think you trust in God's time enough. I don't think you trust the word of God enough to give up all of this because this is what you want. Yes, ma'am. That's why you quiet, because this is what you want. And you have to sacrifice all of that on the altar of obedience and trusting in God. I am your answer prayer, right? I'm taking you off the market. I'm dropping your initials. <laughs> you're not just getting whistles. You're getting my initials. I don't, I don't want this. I don't really know. I don't want this. I don't really know if you are actually going to see it through and recognize that God must have something better. Hey, uh, look this way for a pic, please. Because you know what? If I be honest, I have so much going on in my soul. And I thought I can go through with this. I thought I can go through with this, but I bury my feelings. So every single time throughout our marriage, when you ask me to talk, I'm not going to have nothing to say. And, and I've just kind of got to this place where I recognize that feelings buried alive don't die. And every single time you disrespect me, and every single time you talk to me and you call me outside of my name, you don't treat me like I'm a man, I feel some type of way. And it reminds me of all these feelings I've tried to suppress. And I think I know when it started. You know when it started? Six years old. Six years old, my mom told me to go to my room. I did something. I don't even remember what I did. I think I broke a dish or something. She said, go to your room. Go to your room. And so here I am. I never had a chance to vent. I never had a chance to talk it out. I, I never had a chance to express myself. So now, 
stand before you, a 30-year-old man, and every time, every time it's time for me to express myself, when you keep asking me, why don't you talk, I go back to that little six-year-old boy. That six-year-old boy who has never got in tune with himself. And, and, and you know, Mama used to say, she used to always say, what goes on in this house stays in this house. All that did was incubate dysfunction. All that did was has, have us go to those stupid church meetings and have us go to all these stupid parent and teacher meetings and everybody acts like everything's okay and everybody acts like we're happy and we would act like we have all this stuff for Christmas and I know mama went broke for it. I know she went broke for it, but you know what? She had to keep up with the Joneses. We had to present this image and now I'm kind of tired of presenting this image as though I'm okay. I'm tired of presenting this image as though I'm okay. So sometimes I smoke weed. Sometimes I get drunk. Sometimes I go to the strip club. And I wouldn't dare tell nobody about the time my uncle molested me. Because I don't want anybody to call me names. That's not a man. But I think that that, that familiar spirit caused me to be promiscuous. Sometimes it causes for us to be promiscuous. Other times it causes for us to have disgusted taste in our mouth when it comes to sex. So you, you're dealing with a lot right now. You're dealing with a whole, whole lot. Well, listen. And it's unfortunate we had to find out about it right here. I'm just tired of my heart being broken over and over again. I'm tired. I'm tired of it. I've been through it enough. So I stand before you as a 30-year-old woman wanting to be loved by somebody Wanting to be appreciated and valued by somebody. Wanting to feel like I'm important enough to spend money on for a dress. You are important. That's why I did it. That's not how you treat me. I don't treat you you like you're important? No, not not by throwing money in my face. Well, you sitting up here talking about I'm a child. Children don't provide. But that's how you act like. You act like a child. The way the way that you that, the, that you go on and expect me to do this and do that for you, I just want to be loved. That's all. So my love for you is not good enough. I see the you're, real you you're, now. You're, you're I the, see the real you. You saw the real me the first time we had sex. You saw the real me. You the one that told me that you know what? I'm an old fashioned girl. I'm a Christian, and I wait until marriage. Listen, I was in denial. Okay. I was in denial and I wanted to see the best in you. I wanted to just glass it over. I wanted to think that, hey, maybe I'm a good enough woman. I got all this go- stuff going for me. You know, he'll, he'll change for me. I, I wanted to think that. I wanted to feel that. But now I really see the real you. That you are selfish and you are prideful. And if you are all of this stuff, then you're definitely not going to be able to deal with my issues. You're definitely not going to be able to cover all of the stuff that I've been through, all the crap that I've gone through. You're definitely not going to be able to deal with that. If you're talking to me like this now, there is no way all of my innermost crazy emotions, the way I feel about myself, the way I feel about my father, the way I feel about my life and what I've gone through. There's no way that you're going to be able to deal with it and love me the way that I really want to be loved. So why waste all this time then? Why waste all this time? I want to be married. That's what I'm good for, right? The image. I'm glad it came out. I'm glad it came out. You want the image. You want the image. It's not about love. Do you really even want children? Or you just want to be able to tell people that you had kids and you have a man? It's amazing to me. It's It's amazing. not like that. It is amazing people rather... Rather like fake happiness. It's not like that. I mean, if you think about it, it is better. It is so much better to have a cold bed than to deal with the real devil. What's wrong with wanting to be married? What's wrong with that? It's more What's than, wrong with wanting to have someone more, to be with and to go on vacations with it's more than and, what, and, and, and raise a family with and live life with? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with wanting that? What's wrong with me? Now, listen, I'm not there yet. But this is what I heard. I heard it's more about purpose. That's what I heard. I heard it's more about whatever you've been born to do and whatever, and whatever I've been born to do. Purpose. So why are you here? I'm here because 
this is just something that I told myself of what men do. My mom kept saying, when you going to settle down? And I'm honestly tired of the club scene. I'm tired of this girl and that girl. And I think deep down inside, I could be a good man. I think deep down inside, I could be faithful. I do. And, 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 and I'm here because I want to be that. But there's so many things that I haven't addressed. There's so many things I haven't dealt with. That there's so many secrets I never told anybody with. That there, there's, there's so many silent screams that I've had alone. There's so many times where people ask me, how you doing? I'm cool. I'm straight. I'm good. I'm Gucci. <laughs> but something in me felt that if I settled down, I could be a good man. I don't even know what a good man is. I don't. But I just felt as though this is a part of it, and you would be one that could help me discover who I am. I didn't really have a lot before I met you. Now I could provide for you. I could do a lot of things for you. And the, the real question is, why are we here? knowing our hearts haven't been rehabilitated. So you know what that's going to do? What you're dealing with, what I'm dealing with, if we don't take it to Jesus, if we don't have a season in our life where we dedicate to deal with all of this, we're going to have children, and they're going to be born in all of this, and they're going to catch all of your wounds, and they're going to get all of my wounds. And I think that's exactly what hell wants. He wants us to extend a generation of brokenness to our children. See, because I believe the enemy hovers over bloodlines. Now he thinks because it worked on my daddy, worked on your daddy, worked on your grandfather, worked on my grandfather, that it's also gonna work on us. Well, I don't wanna perpetuate these cycles. I don't wanna have what my mother had and my grandmother had, and all my aunts had. I want more than that. I want better than that. I want more for my children. I want real, authentic, true love. I want purpose. I, I, want, I want God to be in the middle of my marriage. I don't want to be prideful. I don't want to feel lonely. I don't want to feel like I need a man, but I want to feel like I have a partner that I can do God's will with. That's what I want. So that's what you want? Yes, that's what I want. Are you sure that's what yes, you want? Yes, that's what I want. So that means we're, we're going to have to have heart, heart rehab. rehab. Whoa. Them acting skills, though. Did y'all see her? She almost started crying. You really start crying? Yeah, it was emotional. It was a. Uh, it was. It was. Um. It was intense, right? Yeah. I, I. I really, really hope that you all got um the gist and got the yeah. um the rawness of what we were trying to convey yeah. and and I guess our skit, yeah. if you will, um just to really touch and speak to what people really go through. Yeah. And what people really feel and what is not presented yeah. on the wedding day. Yeah. You know, we, we put our best foot forward, we put our, our mask on, and there's really a lot of underlying issues that we have that mm. needs to be dealt with, that need to be healed, yeah. that need to be addressed. Yeah. And if we don't make the choice to address those issues and mm. ask God to truly heal our hearts, we're gonna bring that into all of our relationships. Absolutely. And yeah. you know, God wants to heal all those things. He yeah. wants he wants to give your heart surgery and rehabilitation. He wants yeah. to he wants to take you through therapy, yeah. but we just have to allow allow him in. Yeah. We have to let him in. Everybody is cool with Jesus being their savior, but there's resistance when it's time for him to be our surgeon. Yeah. And what I was asking her in the message was, would you be, would you really be cool with letting all of this go? And for a lot of us, that's what it's going to take for yeah. us to let go right. of what we want, yeah. what we desire. 
so that God can rehabilitate my heart. It's going to require a lot of unlearning and relearning. So, yeah. heart rehab. We're not done. No. 10 o'clock in the morning, there's worship. 12 p.m. tomorrow, there's a session by my brother, mm -hmm. um, Isaac Curry. Then I have a session for myself at 2 p.m. And then at 7.30 p.m., it closes out. Yeah. We hope you guys were blessed. Thank you so much for telling people about it, your subscriptions, your love, your endorsement. And may God heal us. Heal us so that we could be like like whole off the gram. Amen. <laughs> Behind the retina display, we yeah. have joy, we have fulfillment, we have purpose. So we love you all so much. See you tomorrow morning.